This is Michael, of course. I'm here to review Vampire Hunter D. Now, this is the 1985 original version. And I actually got to see two different versions of this. One was the original, original version. The other one, they had to actually remake it for North American audience because of the actual seizure effect that it had in the actual shots. Like the red and blue flashes, they had to actually cut out that and replace it with a whole different actually a higher quality scene than what you would expect in the show. But anyways, let's get right down to the story. You're introduced to a vampire hunter. His name is D. D? Who knows? What, what's, what's the D you're supposed to meet? Nobody really knows yet. But it goes on that he needs to help this young lady who hired her to kill a vampire who is known as a noble because vampires in the actual distant future are considered nobles where mutants and demons and all types of creatures all like are just scattered around the world and killing people like oh gore fest it's like you're in transylvania but better uh yeah she hires them he goes off and really this is where they try to pick it up i guess but it just felt like more of a helsing to me really or a castlevania he goes off slays the beast and leaves really he doesn't get the girl. He doesn't have anything, any part of it. He just leaves because he is so dedicated to his work that he doesn't want people corrupted as that vampire to rule over other individuals. To get down to also the music of it, it didn't really pop like other shows would. The music is just like a low key lullaby in a way. I gotta say this though, the voice acting was a little bit better in the higher definition one than in the original version. The original version, you can just see their mouths flapping and none of the lines really, like, nothing really connects. Within the higher definition version, yeah, it, it connects. Like, they had better quality of the voice acting at that time. The way it's drawn from the original to high def, you can really tell the difference. High def is more like a almost uh i wouldn't say 2000 more like a 1995 artist rendering of it where they actually use like a i don't know if it was stop motion and then just take a scene and redo it over again where is the original was hand drawn it was all hand drawn and yes it does look crappier i do think that some modern audiences might actually enjoy it but a lot of people that I ask, they don't really like the older style of animation, the hand-drawn stuff. They prefer the newer style, like it's more sharp, more graphical, and they made it a little slightly more condensed, it felt like. I'm going to honestly rate this probably a 7. I enjoyed the storyline to, to a certain extent because I grew, I grew up in the 2000 animation so yeah of course I'm like one of those guys who prefers 2000 to 1990s animation but still prefer some of the classics just because this is what people understood as animation when it first came out seven just because of the story just because of the graphics just because it's something that everybody recognized and actually would get the 2000 release too. As well as a game, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that right? That's right, good buddy. <laughs> Vampire Hunter D was developed by Victor Interactive Software, which merged with Marvelous Entertainment, and Marvelous Entertainment went out of business in 2003. Vampire Hunter D was released in Japan on December 9th, 1999, and United States on September 25th, 2000. It's a single player survival horror game with an incredibly unusual story. Now I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I understand what the fuck is going on in this game because I honestly don't. You have a hand that talks, you're a vampire hunter and you're killing monsters. The first CGI cutscene looks pretty impressive, actually looks really damn nice. But I realized right away that they expect you to be a fan of the show and know the lore and what the hell's going on, and since I don't, it was just a confusing mess. 
The controls are pretty decent, actually. They're very arcade-ish and they're fluent, and they work quite well when you move around your character. I just wish interacting with objects and doors were easier. The environments look decent and they're fairly big. The fixed camera controls really piss me off because that's such outdated bullshit I can't stand it. And most of the time you can't see your character properly when you're fighting enemies. All the monsters in the game look kind of crappy. Like look at this one. It looks like the human alien hybrid from Alien Resurrection. Eh. And I couldn't figure out why the hell I'm being shot at with lasers in this room. For some odd reason, you have a character on your hand that keeps telling you hints and crap about things, and even though the voice acting was good, I just found it a little annoying how he stopped me every once in a while to tell me something that I had no clue what the hell he was even talking about. So, there's Maya Link and the Marcus Brothers who are after him. All the pieces are in place. And don't forget to use this hand to scratch your balls with. Hmm, yes. Okay. You see? What the hell does that even mean? Weird. When you interact with most people, it's kind of this stale, in-game cutscene where they're just standing and looking at each other and talking. Yeah. Pretty much what they did in a lot of old PS1 games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill and all that type of stuff. The combat in the game is pretty good, I guess. You know, there's a attack button and there's a suck the soul button after you kill an enemy to, like, you know, recharge things. And it's not really inventive. It's kind of the standard in most of those games in the past. So if you like that stuff, you know, great. Overall, I'm going to rate this a 4 out of 10. You know, it's a fun little game, but because I didn't know what was going on, I didn't really enjoy it. Not really for me. You know, I bet if Mike played this, I bet he would have liked it a lot more. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please leave a comment. Choose one of these four boxes. Thank you very much to everybody who watched Michael's Minutes. Bye.